Toy Tractor Times is here with Andrew Winchettle at the 2018 Lafayette Farm Toy Show in Indianapolis, Indiana. And Andrew won the uh, custom contest with a scratch-built brass John Deere 3300 combine. But when we were doing the interview on that, he was talking about his John Deere 300 corn picker, which was also in the contest. Standout piece made of brass. Tell us a little bit about this corn picker, and uh, let's just look at some of the details you put into it. Now, you use both this corn picker and the 3300 combine on your farm? Well, we used to. We still have both of them, but the 3300 was replaced with the 4420. But we still use the corn picker yearly. Um, the corn picker, again, like the combine, I try to make as realistic as possible. Pitch will si slide, uh, the jack stand moves, the head is removable, and the deflector also moves. Um, when I originally designed these pieces or built these pieces, I wanted the three row corn head to fit on the corn picker as well. However, on our real 3300, we have to remove this side shield here, and that is also the case for this uh, 300 corn pick. It just won't fit. So, because you build very tight tolerances to spec, and I try to. Um, seeing that we have both of them, I was able to get measurements for every piece I wanted, and that is, it makes building a lot easier. You know, a three-row head on a picker is really cool. I've, I've seen a new idea at the Half Century of Progress show on a 12 or 6 like that, and that's just a really John Deere doesn't quite get all the credit for having a picker, but they were when they were one of the last ones to build one in the 70s over the major brands and uh, most of the neat. most of the pictures I saw online did have the three row, the two row. I don't think is quite as common, mm -hmm. but so I did, what do you uh, what do you pull this picker with on your farm? If I remember correctly, uh, International 706. Okay, and it would. Uh, how do you decide? We're picking this corn. I mean, what do you use the pick corn for versus uh, combine corn? Or we have a couple uh, cow calf. Okay. We have twenty or so, and we still and we still grind ear corn for them. Well, it's a very nice piece, just just like this uh, thirty three hundred that won the contest, and it, it's just neat to know that it has a personal connection to you, and you know why you're building this brass equipment. And I guess that's something. Again, this this is completely scratch built from brass. Yes. Um, how do you? You know, this isn't 3D printed, it's not cut out of styrene. How do you even start a project like this to, to form it into a, a model? I really can't tell you. I guess I just start. I start with the, the biggest piece and just work my way out. So is a, does the brass just come in flat sheets and then you cut it? And yeah, um, square tube, round tube, flat. I do a lot of shaping, a lot of filing, and a lot of soldering. It sure pays off. It yes. looks great. Thank you. Well, thank you, and um, again, we appreciate you bringing it to the show. Uh, you come to our Toy Tractor Times dinner out in Dyersville and have a lot of this stuff on display, and just really enjoying seeing it. I look forward to uh, 2018 as well. Sounds good. Thank, thank you. you.